What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Take Action Lo, and welcome to another episode of the Take Action with Lo show. And normally I say I have a special guest, I have an awesome guest, but this guest right here, this guest right here, no, nah, she is legendary. She, This is an exclusive. Uh, Miss Rochelle Shaw, before I actually dig in and, and just start talking to her, I can't wait. I got a number of questions to ask her. Um, Rochelle is not a stranger. Uh, to my show, to my podcast, even though we are in strange times right now. Um, but uh, Rochelle is not only this awesome uh, entrepreneur, uh, she's the only female African-American public utility owner in the United States. Yeah. And as the legend goes, she has had one real job in her life. Yes, Rochelle, I am reading about you. <laughs> Rochelle is known for buying, growing, and selling businesses as a marketing expert. She has taken totally... Uh, uh, has taken totally uh, commoditized businesses, created unique offerings. She's the author of The Million Dollar Equation. She has other books out there and, and one that she's writing that she hasn't released yet. She's also my business coach, Carla's business coach. And she's a friend and I love her dearly. And the book back here, hold on. This book right here that you guys always see in the background, of my lives here that is uh there you go look at that <laughs> it's a direct result of me investing and spending time and learning from rochelle that book would have never uh even even come to fruition without her guidance and it was on the amazon best-selling list so anyway uh Ms. rochelle welcome and thank you so much sis Hey, thank you. I'm like, damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Showing the love. Got to show the love for sure. You know what? But then I, you know, I say that humbly because um, I don't care about who you are or where you've been. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget because we look at our current circumstances. So when you talk about strange times, right, and what's going on right now and how unprecedented it is. Um, we forget like what we've done, what we should be doing. And we start to, you know, look at, well, this is happening because of this. And then, you know, we allow that bad energy to infiltrate us around from folks who ain't never, you know, ain't never had yeah. nothing. They never done nothing. Ain't never, you know, is, is trying to make that $1,200 work. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Um, instead of, look, you need to be doing other things too. Like you can't just allow that to be the only thing. And, and sometimes I just look and I just go, oh, I just realized that, um, that I just think differently. And I think most of your listeners and watchers think differently. Right. Yes. And we know it like, like sometimes like we fall into it and then we go, oh yeah, yeah, no, that, that right there, that ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> so it's, um, it's just been uh, a a real um, gosh. I, I said that 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 this is like the ultimate autocorrect right now. Oh man! And <clears throat> it's just getting all those that wasn't that was pretending that weren't doing the things that they were supposed to do. It's just adjusting that. And some of my my clients haven't been really excited about hearing that from me because you know I'm straight no chaser. Like I just like, tell you because now I, I love you, but I'm going to tell you too, that, you know, what it says what you're doing is you're pretending in this, like you're not doing all of the things that, that you need to do. And, and even, you know, when you introduce me, you know, that I only had one job in my life, you know, in, at the end of last year, well, well, let me back up and say that um, December, 2018, my mom had a stroke yeah. and my mom was always like that person, right? Like she was yes. always in the house. So even, um, you know, the reason why we moved to this location was because I could have my office in the house and she could be upstairs. Yeah. And so, you know, to all of a sudden not to have that support, cause you know, I'm single, have always been single. Uh, and I've never found a man that I love more than my business. <laughs> <laughs> that's another podcast. That that's a whole nother one, right? Um, and so <laughs> I know, I know I get in trouble sometimes. Um, but I love to to you know focus on the business and build it. So she was always my support system. And when that went down, I didn't know how to how to adjust to it. 
I really didn't. And I pretended for a while mm -hmm. <laughs> and I pretended that everything was okay. And um, I think that you and I both know that, especially in this coaching space, that it it leads to pretending. Yes. Because yes. it's it's like you almost don't get the opportunity to fall yes. because everybody is, you know, like even when I would tell people, they would reach out and say, hey, you know, I was thinking about you. I ain't hurt, hurt you know, because because God is good all the time. And he would send that message out that I needed help. And folks would say and I would tell them and they go, oh, no, not you. I go, wait, wait, wait. Well, how come not me? Mm hmm. How, you know, I'm just like you. I'm just like you. But see, um, it, it it brings us back to to what the difference is. I think between really successful people and people who aren't, and is that they think that 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 I'm different than them. And you know why? Let me interject. Let me let me know why. And everybody that's listening and watching, make it known that Rochelle has in her career has helped countless of business owners, small and large, and help them change their business and also help their ROI increase from just her knowledge and expertise. So this, this is someone who knows business. And that's why I had to have you on here because right now, like you said, it's like it's a reset for mm -hmm. everybody. And the everybody. opportunities are there, right? Oh my gosh, like they're, they're endless, right? The, the opportunities, like, like when this happened, I had three or four opportunities on the back burner that I said, because I know this is going to happen. I actually thought it was going to happen after the election, no matter who won, right? No matter who won, whether it be um, our current president or it was a new president. And I was like, because see, I've made money. It doesn't matter who's president. Right. right. Like you have to create your own economy. Like yes, you have to is. just look at what's going on and adjust. And that's where I think people are making the mistake right now is they're thinking that this is happening to them instead of for them. Yep. And so during that time when I was low, too low to get under and really looking around for for that strength and, you know, talk about entrepreneurship and mental illness like that's a whole nother podcast. Right. Yes, it is. Um, because we are the loneliest people on the planet. Like there's there's folks that just don't get us like they have no problem telling us to go get a gig. Yeah. Um, and actually, for the first time in 20 years, I went and got a gig. What? And Talk about I, know, I know. And people were like, wait a minute, you, you, you know, like they were like giggling, like, and all just kind of, you know, ha ha ha, like kind of thing. Yeah. And I said, but, but what you don't understand is my why and why, you know, this is just a means to an end. Like, yes. um, I've always had full time clients that have been with me over two, three, five, ten 10 years. Like I ran a local mastermind here in Vegas for over 10 years. Yeah. Right. You know, that was generating 4,000 up to $8,000 a month, depending on how many members I had in it. Right. Yeah. So that's like, a that's like a job. Right. I've always had a long-term customer where um, like even how I won marketer of the year, right. With Dr. Wells. He was my customer forever. So he had paid me for 11 years every single month. And all of a sudden that didn't feel right anymore. It felt like a job, but I didn't get all the benefits with it. Right? So, so how does that work? And so when I started to look in and do the numbers, right, all of this stuff about, about, um, you know, people like turn their nose up about a gig and about what that is. Is this because you're not looking at it in the right, you know, light? Like yeah. I look like I love my gig and my gig introduces me to entrepreneurs every single day. Um, I'm working with the number one media company here in Las Vegas, 70 years, years old. Uh, just the benefit package added on another 40 grand nice. a year. Yes. yes. The benefit, not what they pay me. Right. right. Absolutely. <laughs> right. But it's like. I got to negotiate an amazing deal based on all of the things that I had already done. Yes. So this is like my first tip to people right now is, you know, don't run out looking for the next and the latest and what you think. And, Ooh, it's chatbots. Ooh, it's a uh, YouTube. Ooh, it's all these. That's not it. That's not it. Go and use your talents for an established entity that needs you right now.
there's no shame in that. Like, like I really like thought about it for the last five years. I've been thinking about it. The last five years I've been thinking about it because I kept getting bigger and bigger offers. Right. Mm-hmm. And you go, well, hold on a second. Like how much, like, like for real. And so one of, one of my private clients always teases me. He's at Cairo. And he's like, are you really working for the man? And I'm like, absolutely. Cause I like that direct deposit every other Friday. <laughs> it's really fun. And so you have to use, you know, what all of the things that you have. So, you know, step one in how I even rebuilt back my million dollar business, because because I don't know if people know this about me, but, you know, for many years, you introduced me as the only female African-American public utility owner in the nation. Right. I took my job. I bought the company from my boss and built the company from three hundred thousand dollars a month to three million a month. Right. Over thirty six million. Did over one hundred million dollars in three years. Um, then came nine eleven. Times unprecedented, yep. just like this, right? Where it was, there's no preparation, there's no nothing. Uh, I went, it was Labor Day. Uh, it was my grandmother's. Uh, we always have a family thing. My mom's got 10 brothers and sisters, and so we have a huge family. I went to Southern California, hung out with them instead of invoicing my clients, because, I, you know, the devil did his his most famous thing and the best thing that he's known from. And that is for telling us that we have unlimited time. Yes. Because yes. we just think, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll have to yep. do it tomorrow. And that's exactly what I did. Went home, hanging out. We sent the bills when I got back, but not until the ninth. <laughs> I'm sleeping. And my ex at the time would always have the TV on in the morning. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, did a plane just go into that? But that's not what happened, you know, because I'm a I'm a late owl and mm-hmm. sleep till 10 or 11 type of gal. Right. right. So I'm like, that's, that's not what happened. <clears throat> and then I can hear it. And I said, wait a minute. That's what happened. And I don't know what I thought, but I took a shower, got dressed and went to work like everything's going to be the same. Mm hmm. Because you can't believe the effect that's going to happen. That's why all this panic now of all these folks talking about what their rights are and we get to, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you know, there's a lot of things that you don't have control over. Mm-hmm. So um, I lose it all after 9-11 and I have to sit there and think, what in the hell am I going to do? I had to file bankruptcy, um, lost my palatial estate. Uh, you know, I was laughing the other day because in my garage, I still have stuff from the phone. It's like, for what, you know, but, but I hold on to them because that was my claim to fame. Right. And, yeah. and especially when I was in that low time, I was over there thinking that this would be the, that would be the only one. Yeah. You know, even though I had done a thousand other things, but you know, your mind is telling you, and if you don't have the right people around you, mm-hmm. it just goes down and down and down from there. So um, after that, I had to think of what am I going to do? And the first thing that I looked at is, okay, what are my talents and what are my best talents? What are they? And that's what your listeners should be doing right this moment. What are my talents? What can I do? Not, not, you know, and then what do you love to do? Right? So I always used to tell people, you know, do what you love and the money will follow. That's bullshit. You know, cause really it's, I like to <laughs> and stay on the beach and I can't find anybody paying for that yet. So it's not really that whole do what you love all the time, but do what you can do until you can do what you love. Because those are in dire straits right now. Like you need to find a solution. I would be at the grocery store, at Target, at Walmart, at Amazon. I would be stocking shelves. You see, because I'm not too good for that. Right. You know, there were folks that were like, ooh, like, ooh, like even even my gig, my gig's an amazing gig. And they're like, well, I can't even believe. Uh, really? Okay. Well, I also have a 14-year-old daughter who yeah, depends exactly. on me. And, and, and that was going to be my point. It goes back to you. Why? You right. have a daughter. So yeah. everything else is out the window. Everybody else's opinion is out the window. What? Whether yeah. you decided to get on a poll or not. It's See, t- uh, why? See but y'all not trying to, you know, because yeah, she's my number one. Yes. She, right there exactly. is my number one. I got so you. I have to make sure that, you know, why, what, I'm supposed to take her out of private school? You know, that was one of the suggestions I got. Gotcha. Um, the other one was I need to move out of this expensive place. What are you talking about? <laughs> right? Like, 
And it's really not that, you know, like for me, I'm like, this is 50% of what I had been. What are you talking about? And then I realized that, oh my God, I was asking the wrong people. Wrong people. So, so the second thing that you always have to look at is who are you talking to? Yes. And then, you know, do not listen to anybody that you would you wouldn't switch places with. Yep. So if you are not gonna switch places with that person, then they don't get a vote. Like I'm like, oh, oh, wait, you know, what and what exactly are you doing? You know, I had I had some uh some friends, I had a friend actually say to me, well, my goodness, you know, well, you know, you're supposed to have three months, you know, worth of, I said, look, dude, I'd already been through this. I had 18 months. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah. Hush, hush with that. Like, like, like I'm the money, honey. You know, I do the money, honey segments on TV. Like, what, what are you talking about? So I realized that I was talking to the wrong people. Yeah. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. I was like, okay, get them out of my life. Yes. Um, and then, um, you know, the whole impetus to the book that I wrote, which is the Million Dollar Equation. Yes, that's it right there. Is based that's on it. what I did to rebuild back my telephone company. Everybody get that book. That and, is a must-have book for your collection. Oh, thank you. I'm just showing it's you the read. Look, it's double spaced. Yes. Like, it's big. You know, there's plenty of room for you to put in your stuff, but it's nine steps of everything that I did to rebuild back my business in less than five months to over six, seven figures, over seven. I forget, you know, so many people are all on six that I'm like six, you know, there's never been a time that I made less than six since I've been here in Las Vegas. Never. Awesome. So I'm like, like, what are y'all talking about? You know what I mean? Like, like, mm -hmm. Well, people. But I realized that again, you know, I wasn't talking to the right people. So yeah. once I spent some time with the right people and really wrap my head around, okay, you know, fix this right here <laughs> and fix it with, because I could have easily gone and gotten two more doctor clients because I also wrote uh, this one, right? <laughs> you know, yep. million dollar equation for doctor. doctors. Yeah. Um, that I could have went yeah. and done that. But I was actually, it was the end of a decade. Um, the end of last year, it was the end of a lot of things. And I started looking back at even my consulting business, who I was consulting with. Did I really like them? Not really. I didn't. Yeah. So I said, well, this is the time to make the adjustment because I know that something is coming. And it's so crazy that like instinctively I knew, but I think I also knew because I'd been through it you know, five times before, like this, that's going on right here. It's happened five, you know, three times, um, not my fault, which is uh, Y2K, uh, 9-11 in 2008, right? Uh, and twice were my fault because I'm an entrepreneur and a risk taker, right? Yeah. So I made a wrong turn and I was like, ooh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the risk you take as an entrepreneur. Right, and that's why I'm like shocked at what's going on right now. So I've been, you said it is an exclusive because I haven't done anybody else's podcast. Oh, wow. I, mean, I, I, I get like requests every single day. Michelle, be on my virtual, be on my podcast, be on my stuff. And first of all, you know, you don't know what's going on. So what are you advising people right now? Like, what are y'all saying? So I'm listening, right? And I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. You're just talking because you're talking to sell. Yeah. You're talking to sell them. You're talking because you're trying to do something else. You're really not talking to give. And, um, you know, one of them wanted me to be on. They were charging people. I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> you know, not that you shouldn't make money because you are an yeah. entrepreneur, right? Right. Um, but you need to realize that the money from this comes in the background, back end. Because it's it, nothing lasts forever, good times or bad times. So this right now is not going to last forever. This is going to be over soon. Absolutely. And when it's over, they're going to look to and look for who was opportunist and who was a helper. Yes. Yes. You, you know what? I, I got to say this because right now, well, number one, I feel honored that uh, you decided to go ahead and let me interview you aside from anyone else during this time. I feel extremely honored. So thank you. 
Number two, Carla and I, and you know, I've told you this privately and I'll tell you publicly, you know, Carla and I love you and we appreciate you because when we were going through some really difficult times, uh, I, I hit you up and I knew that we could talk to you and you gave us some sound advice and you reminded us of things that we had that we needed to dust off and just get out there as far as product and services. So during this whole time of the period that we're in, we're pulling from what we've learned from you. We're pulling what we've learned from, you know, other successful entrepreneurs that's in our circle. And we're making the pivots and the shifts to be able to help others. And this is what I heard in an, a slight interview. It's just confirmation with uh, Mark Cuban earlier today. He said, entrepreneurs right now need to, he said, out of this is going to come some extremely successful entrepreneurs that's going to do very well and make a ton of money because they are learning to be innovative and they are making adjustments to the changes that yep. are here. Because yep. business as we know it will never be the same. Never. People and businesses Big businesses that are holding on to that old way are the ones that are dying out. Yep. What, what would you want to say about that? Yeah, no, it's so it's so true. I mean, it's it's exactly what he's talking about. Is that you know I was able to build faster and quicker, you know, after a time like this because nobody was watching, everybody was scared and holding on. You know, working with the number one media company here in Las Vegas, right? 70 years old. I'm talking to entrepreneurs every day. And there are some that get it and some that are like, oh, I'm scared. And I'm like, we've got the best rates right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> sign the contract and sign it for the year. Because when it when the upswing comes, you want to lock in this rate. Are you That's kidding right. me? Yep. Are you kidding me? Like, yep. like now is the time. Like, yep. like you know how they say, you know, hey, uh, Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday. It's all on the same day. It's time to make it happen, right? Uh, you know, this is the year that my birthday is on a Saturday. It's it. The world has collided. It is time to make it happen. And, and this is what you should be looking for. And and true entrepreneurs, true entrepreneurs get that. Yes. Those that are pretending, that's why I said this is the biggest autocorrect. Yeah. So those that are, that jumped out, like when it first happened and was doing lives and what you need to do, they were doing it selfishly because they saw their revenue drop. Yes. They yes. weren't doing it because they were being innovative. They weren't like, you need to sit back and watch for a minute so that you can see where that crease is. So, I mean, this is when truly, you know, if you are a football fan, this is like the Le'Veon Bell moment, right? This is where he like watches it, right? And he doesn't like, he, he does things totally different because he watches till the hole comes in mm -hmm. and then he skirts through it. This is what this is about. There's going to be gaping holes, yes, really yes. big, but you have to be ready for them. You have, you have to be ready for them. So that, you know, I tell everybody, if you're in a cash flow trouble, spot right now you need to dust off those other ones yes right you need to dust off what you've already done this is you cannot leverage if you are still in the education phase okay so if you say i'm gonna go on youtube and that's the platform i'm gonna leverage if, if you haven't already been there understanding it then it won't work it takes too long yes right? so, so you have to use what you had before to pull it out to use it to your advantage and then you can press the gas and leverage that so this is going to be a time when those who have been there for a while and have done the key things especially the things that i have in the million dollar equation one is that you've done you know a really great solution like you have listened to the people and you are solving their problems so everybody else that was doing all of that other, all that stuff two and three weeks ago, you know, five weeks ago, all you've done is just like you're speculating. You know, now we can see because we're about to come out of it. You should have been watching and listening and listening to what people were saying so that you could really have that accurate message. And do number two, 
And that is have a target market, have a really specific target market so that you can speak their language so that they understand what's going. You know, one of the um, the other things that I have a partner that I've been partners with this guy for years and we've always had a money business, right, where uh, we will help you build credit. I'm the money, honey. Right. So build credit, biz, build business credit, um, build your personal, fix your stuff so that you can invest in real estate with um, the expert here at Take Action Low uh, or do whatever else that you want to do. Right. To get you in the right place. Um, and so right now, you know, we're kind of killing it <laughs> right? because it's the perfect opportunity. Yes. Like we yes. heard what people are struggling with. Um, also, a lot of people are going to have crazy personal credit here in the next three months. So yeah. now that we yeah. have, you know, are we preaching how to rebuild that? No, we're pitching our business credit product. Right? So that we're constantly looking at the market and adjusting. And that's where I think people make the mistake. Like they, 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 especially online because they think that it's easier because it's online. They think that all I have to do is get a webcam and do a podcast. You can, you can do a whole bunch of them, but you certainly are working for free. Right. And I always, uh, yeah. I always take it to that, that Drake song, you know, I don't care who, but I ain't gonna for yeah. free. Um, and right. that's the thing here. I ain't gonna work for free either. Like that's a whole lot of work for nothing. Okay. <laughs> Y'all talking about right. no, 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 like you have to like know why you're doing this and and what your goal is for it and, and understand what that process is to get to where you want to be. So it's it's understanding that piece, right? Um, you know, the third one is is having a, a marketing calendar, like like start scheduling some things. No, you know, it's not a I'm gonna get on here and just randomly chat. Let me tell you something. Like I I can do that. You know, but I can do that because I've been an entrepreneur 30 years. But if you don't like understand and my my audience is a general audience. So I do have real estate investors. I have um, brick and mortar businesses. I have chiropractors. I have doctors. I have an auto repair. Um, I've got a medical billing. Cert. Like, you know, I've got them all throughout the gamut. Uh, so when I'm talking, I have to talk in general terms. Sure. Um, and what that does is I have to have a really specific ascension ladder so that I can figure out who they are and then throw them to the side, move this one over here and keep them ascending up, up, up until they get to the place where they get to talk to me or um, where we can spend some one on one time. But but understanding like what that is, like you, you have to have that mapped out. Um, Step four of the million dollar equation is your follow up, right? The F you. Yes. <laughs> it's That's like right uh, there. I watch folks every day screwed up. Just, 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 you know. Well, look, you call me. You, you know, because I didn't call you back or because I didn't email you back, that doesn't mean that I'm not interested. It means that I'm busy. That's right. I'm busy. Like I always love to like show folks, you know, especially when I'm speaking. I always show them my wonderful here, you know, cell phone and this right here. And so I go, hey, oh, can you see that? Yeah. 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 So it's like I got 227,949 emails in my inbox. Well, that's, that's the record right there, I think. <laughs> it's like, so why shouldn't you have to? send it again. Like if you're trying to reach somebody like me now, if you're just trying to reach the river out, somebody sitting at home doing nothing, then that's what you get. You know, I have a, um, a client who is a, who is a spectacular life coach. Right. And she had a private practice, um, brick and mortar. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, she used to making a certain amount, you know, she charges a very high end and she had been frustrated with uh, the folks that the leads that were coming through her phone. And I said, well, part of that is, number one, you know, you give them crazy access to you. You're talking to them on Messenger. And now you're bringing them all through and then asking them for a $5,000 deal, right? Off of social media. That's a good point. That, yeah. 
you know, good. just how you get them, kind of like the cheating husband, right? If you how you get them is how you keep them. So it's like if he was a cheater, he's gonna be a cheater with you too. Like if he cheated with somebody else, like he thinks that that's okay. Like he's not he's lying to you that you're the only one. No, a cheater is a cheater. So if you get them from a social media where they're used to getting everything for free from you. I'm not saying that you can't get leads from social media. You can, but you need to funnel them down through an application process, yep. a, a vetting even of the application process, and then they can get to you if you want to get 5000 Now, if you want to get $1,000, if you want to get 300 then you can keep talking to them. Yep. But once again, you're doing a whole lot of work. That's so you need to kind of create this follow-up system, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. So, That's a huge, 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 huge tip. And I just want to point that out because I've, I've been guilty of that over the years. You know, somebody hit me up, ask a question. I, I may answer it uh, more times than not. Uh, but understanding that you're right. You know, you can't always be available and you have to show your, your worth and your value. And uh, if people want that exclusivity to you. They have to pay for that. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm, I'm very nice, you know, um, but I also know how to ask for money. Too. Yeah. I also know how to direct them. <laughs> yes, you do. You know, here you go. So you can go right there. Here, there's a, you know, oh, well, yep. do you have anything free? Actually, I don't, but I have a book that you can get for seven dollars. How about that? So <laughs> you go over there. So if you're not right. interested in even investing in the seven, then why are we communicating? That's right. Because right? you don't value me. That's right. Well, the thing is, when you pay, you pay attention. And I learned that early on uh, when I started, you know, doing some uh, coaching and counseling or, or consulting. Yeah. Uh, I learned that early on. You can't yeah. people people don't value you or value the information when it's free. But when they have to pay, then that's when they start paying attention. Sure. Sure. And, they, you know, I did a, um, a really fun thing at the end of the year because I knew I was getting the gig. So I said, you know, the one thing I love to coach still, I still love entrepreneurs. I love to coach them. So I sent out a, um, a dollar deal that had like all of my programs for a dollar. Like you can just pick which one you want and I'll give you access to my membership site for a dollar. Um, they were like, well, for how long? You know, and I'm like, I don't know until I decide that I don't want you in there anymore. Right? <laughs> um, so I had a ton of people take advantage of it. Uh, I think three spent longer than 15 minutes in there. Wow. Because, you know, I could see the data. I could see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. yep. um, then I did a $100 deal for 12 weeks, 12 sessions with me. I said, are you sure that you're ready to start 2020? Right. Right. Uh, which is hysterical that I even offered it, but I got 10 and okay. You know, filled my schedule, $1,000. Let's just have some fun with this. With by the fourth week, half of them had dropped out. Wow. <laughs> Not because they didn't value me, but because they weren't doing anything. Lazy. And a hundred dollars was was their number that made it so that eh, it's just a hundred dollars, mm -hmm. right? And gave them that that thing. So so I, I giggle about like you you have a Sam's Club number. Right. Or a, a Costco number. Everybody, mm -hmm. every buyer does. Right. That when you go into Costco, as long as it's under this number, you're going to get it. Like you just, you know, I used to look and I didn't care what it was. As long as it was under thousand dollars, I was buying it. So I had, you know, the I, I can't even tell you, I don't even cook, but I got the best cutlery upstairs. Like this knife can like, <laughs> you know, get through fish. Um, <laughs> I had like the best TVs. Like I just, you know, under thousand dollars, I'm buying. Right? Yeah. And so that's what you get. You know, the people that were, oh, it's a hundred dollars. So I'll just do it. Out of it, I got five amazing clients. One um, within eight weeks finished his book and nice. created a whole consulting business for tree trimmers. Nice. Tree -trimmers. Wow. What wow. Right. Okay. So we whittled it down to his top forty. He access the top 40. He's like, okay, I'm going to send this out. What do I do? I said, okay, now do this. Now send this. Now, now here's how you follow up. This is yeah. how you do second notice. Here's how you give the book for free and make way more money than you could ever by selling it. He's like, okay, Michelle. Okay. Now he's got four clients that he's making 10 grand a month. He's done. That's awesome. That's awesome. He, he asked me for payments for the hundred dollars. <laughs> okay.
but he listened and he mm -hmm. was and he did every every week he came prepared every week i gave him assignments he sent them to me beforehand everybody else i can always tell you yep. know if you're doing it whichever my cairo um he he just crushed it through it i mean even through through this whole coronavirus stuff mm -hmm. um he's he's still like to yesterday i saw him post that he had his best day since this hit and it's been almost like it was like he's like 10 percent off of of what he was normally whereas the other ones are like seeing two or three people a day. wow he's consistent. it took massive action yes yes just massive being consistent action. but he took massive action before you yes. see like he was always like he he's an implant like he's a former athlete like he played basketball against kobe bryant in his in his high school days right and he nice. was like oh my gosh michelle like like he was <laughs> he was so awesome right um but he's just he's just an athlete and athletes understand and value coaches and he's just an implement right. you know you can't get any better than that um my medical billing client she is she didn't take that deal she took another one um, but she's so crushing it right now that, that now a couple weeks ago, I said, okay, um, she goes, what should I be doing? You know, should I be cutting? I go, yeah, you can cut just to trim the things, you know, mm -hmm. but do you have money? She's like, yes. I said, do you have enough for, you know, three months? She said, yeah. I go, okay, then don't cut. Why would you cut? And she's right. like, I don't know. Cause that's what everybody's saying, dude. I go, no, don't do that. I said, here's what I want you to do though, is I want you to start considering, uh, acquisitions. And she's like, wait, what? And I said, because there's going to be a lot of people in trouble. Yep. And so this is your time to start buying it. So then with her, uh, I created a whole nother opportunity in biz that's all about uh, we buy ugly businesses, right? Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, whatever you got going on, uh, you know, we come in, yeah, I can help you with the money side if that's what you need, or if you just want to get out. Because I remember that at one point i was ready to get out like 2008 i was ready to get out of my mastermind i was ready to get out of a couple of other things and so uh, i was able to sell off some of those assets and do it. so you know one of the the best things about god is that nothing is wasted yes. nothing is ever wasted so if you understand that going in then this isn't a big deal this is just an adjustment you know if you realize that the money is not coming from the government it's coming from him and that if you do what you're supposed to do, then it all works itself out. So I'm constantly saying to them, you know, um, and this is being straight, no chaser, Rochelle, and uh, harsh reality is to the two that weren't prepared for this. I said, you're going to have to take it in the teeth. Yeah. 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 You know, I wasn't prepared either. Come on. I was 30 years old with a pocket full of cash in Vegas. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. I wasn't ready. Right. <laughs> okay. No, I wasn't ready for it. Right. You know, so this is the time that, you know, it's not that you can't come back from it, but you know how you react to failure, and I've said this a thousand times, determine if you ever get to deal with success. Yes. Determines it. Absolutely. And you're not starting from scratch. You're coming back bigger and better with with your own experience, yes. you know, with the experience of what to do. You know, right now your money should be 10, 15, 75, right? 10, 15, 75. What's that? Should be donating, tithing, something. I, whoever is your higher power, I don't know. You know, I know who mine is. And so even, even though I don't even have a church home, I tithe to my bedside Baptist church. That's where I got it. Okay? The 15% should go into your savings. That should just be sitting there. And you should live off of the 75. Yeah. So if, if if you don't have enough to do that, that's just the bare minimum. If right. you don't have enough to do that, then your prices aren't correct. You're not working hard enough. You haven't created a, 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 a better business. Mm -hmm. You know, your machine isn't working. Your machine, I talk about how you get leads, how the leads flow through. If you can't do your 10, 15, 75, you're going to be in trouble. So let's <clears throat> let's talk about that just for a second. Sure. If, in fact, in 2008, if you were just at six figures, mm -hmm. right, and you were making six figures a year, after that, like you rebuilt it back just to six figures and you were doing 10, 15, 75. Right now, you would have 150 grand. Well, 150,000, because you had 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. 
It took me two years to do it to 2010 to get back up to six figures, which is it shouldn't take that. But right. If, if you don't work with me, that's what happens. <laughs> um, so you had 10 years to put that away. So you, now you got 150. Yeah. But you only, you know, spend or earn normally $10,000 a month. So with the 150, you got 15 months worth. Yeah. You're good. This is six weeks. You ain't crying. You ain't complaining. You're good. Yeah. Right. A uh, million dollars. If it was that, then you'd have a million and a half right now. You can last six weeks with the million and a half that you've put away. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not doing it correctly, then now's the time to correct that. Yeah. They're giving mm -hmm. you opportunities to call and say about, you know, skipping payments, moving payments, mm -hmm. adjusting. You can consolidate some of that debt. You can get in a in a in a power position so that you can go forward. You know, now's mm -hmm. the time to downsize that vehicle yes. or the three mm -hmm. or you know, I, at, at the time that it all happened, I had five. But nine eleven happened. Five for what? For two people? We can't drive five cars. But you know, you get caught up. Get caught up. That's right. You get caught up. So I've made every mistake that there is. Um even from you know expensive bags like like my friends like tease me all the time because i refuse to buy a designer bag i'm like you know first of all i carried one in high school my mother gave me louis vuitton for my 16th birthday been there done you know? that yeah you know no they're like but but would you pay for that one i said actually my sister paid 200 bucks and she <laughs> used it for two years and got tired of it and so i took it that's the one that i carried and it's leather, you know, it's probably 10 years old, but it's the one that I take on planes mm -hmm. that, you know, if something happens to it, I'm not saying, I'm not, oh, you get it on my back. I, I don't care. Right. Right. You know, but I do have splurges, you know, as, as we joke about all the time, you know, I didn't, I didn't even have shampoo at my house when all this happened because <laughs> <laughs> I go to a, to a blow, I have a subscription at a blow dry bar. So yeah. I go there and they do my hair and. And I can go unlimited, so I can go three times a week if I want to and come out with, you know. So I was like, look, we need to hurry up and do this before. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. That's why I hit you up, too. Hey, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> just in case so, you don't mind. You know, there are some splurges, but there are some things that I just I just don't do. So it's yeah. it's getting getting your sh together. Like, That's now is the time. Yeah. Yes. To look at everything, like what are you spending money on? What are you spending money on, and what are you investing in? Like, yes. what is it? And are you investing in your future, or are you investing in being flashy? Like, what is it? And then, you know, I still journal every single day. And at the end of the day, um, actually, and I noticed that when I was going through that depression, I stopped. Mm. I had stopped. Because, you know, just like I give you straight no chaser, I give me straight no chaser too. Yeah. So at the end of every day, um, I can be really hard on me. And so my journaling actually helps me be kinder to me, to love me more. So then I say things like um, what I accomplished for the day. You know what? I get to say, I, I actually did a podcast today. Um, you know, I took care of it. I got dressed today because, uh, ooh, and putting on them jeans was tough today. Baby, because I've been <laughs> so I had had a jean check after you know being at home getting that COVID. So yep. it's like, what are you doing? Um, but it's it's at the end I write down all of my accomplishments for the day. Yes, and then I go back and I look at what my goals are. So I rewrite them every single day too, so that I'm very clear before I go to bed what my goals are. Um, and then I ask myself that tough question every single night is, you know, are you moving closer? What you if, did, what you do today, move you closer to your goals or farther from your goals? What did that do? Let me ask you this question. Last question. Uh, what are you doing? Last question. Wow. Really? Well, unless you want to continue, I'm good. So as long as you want to talk, we can roll. But I, I definitely wanted to ask you this because I think it's an extremely important right now for everyone that's watching and that will watch this. What are you doing to help you with your self-care? 
awesome. during this time, especially yeah. with the pandemic. And at the time of this particular recording, you know, everybody's inside and have been for the last four to six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm as much as I'm, you know, Rochelle, I'm really an introvert. So this doesn't bother me at all. Um, I was also the youngest kid, so I'm used to playing by myself. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what we do is I try to keep to a standard routine of getting up at the same time every day, uh, getting some exercise, uh, eating at the same time, especially because, you know, I got to take my medicine at the right time or else, you know, stuff doesn't work. That's one of the bonuses of getting older. Um, but the other thing is that me and my kid every day go out and we go out together and we have decided to use this as an adventure. Right. And so we drive around Las Vegas and find things that we've never seen. We find new neighborhoods and we, we look at the houses and we look at the people and we go, do we want to live here? Is this like a cool place? And then we look it up on Zillow and we see if it's available or how much it is. And do they have a pool and what the inside looks for? Um, we find a new restaurant and we patronize a small business because, you know, that's what I think we should be doing at this yes, time. Yes. Um, but we ride in the car for two, three hours, sometimes four hours, just driving around, chatting. Sometimes we don't say anything. We just listen to the music. We groove with it. Sometimes she just needs to have her headphones in and, you know, I'm doing the whoa with her or we're uh, doing the, 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 the tick tock, you know, and I'm just like, hey, yay. Wait a minute, girl, wait a minute. I just did that uh, savage challenge with Megan the Stallion. Anyway, I'm going to have to share with the link with you, girl. Anyway, yeah, I was clowning. <laughs> I, ooh, you know, but but that's the thing too is is having some fun and being able to lavish yourself. Like like Absolutely. that's what makes you such a smart marketer and so great at what you do is that you saw that people were struggling, so you re-released you know the who shot Booker, right? <laughs> and had folks like, wait a minute, like what is this? <laughs> and so even though that wasn't a summit, that wasn't a I'm going to do a live to help you get through this. It helped people get through it. Right. Like, mm -hmm. like it's understanding what times are and how to be appropriate through this. So like, if you don't think that people have reached out to me and said, what should I be doing? Right. And everybody has said the exact same thing. You need to be helping somebody. Yes. Because that's going to handle your self care too. When you're giving to somebody else, it, 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 you realize that like what you need to be grateful for, you know, I, and I, I end each day, I start each day with what I'm grateful for. I, yes. I, I, I take that for granted that everybody knows that. Um, and you know, Ooh, thank you, Lord, for gas in my car. You know, yes. some yes. days it's no, thank you, Lord, for gas. Because we're entrepreneurs. We have, we have cash, cash flow revolutions, mm -hmm. we have flow, mm -hmm. We have floods, we have um, uh, deserted areas, mm -hmm. we have all of those things. You know, one of the things that, that I did, I don't know, it's gotta be six or seven years ago, is on my desk here, is my thank you God drawer. Love it. And so um, when things are good and when things are great, I write it down on a piece of paper and I put it in the mason jar. So Love that it. when they're not, I'll just sit there and dig through it. And be like, okay, what does it say? And this is, Lord, thank you for it's one of my former clients. I hope I can be a blessing in her life. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and it must, I, I remember that, and I put the date on it. So this is when I first met her seven years ago. The wow. scout was still a client of mine seven years later. That's crazy. That's awesome. Um, this one says, ah. I know this was only you, God. This guy, Kevin, invited me, paid for the entire trip, and we sold the Million Dollar Equation uh, coaching practice, you know, 10 of them. Wow. wow. It's exciting. Wow. Thank you, Lord. That's and awesome. So that yes. And so, you know, all of that has to do with self-care, with, with your mental armor. You know, yes. I started this morning with my devotion and my mental armor of getting my head right before I talk to folks, before I schedule, 
anything like this. Like I, I don't do it early in the morning because, you know, I wake up and have to like, you know, yes, I am grateful, but I also, you know, have to remember all of those things because especially when you turn on your phone, right? So I, I take my phone and I put it in airplane mode after 10 o'clock at night yep. so that yep. anybody trying to reach me, they don't mm -hmm. get to reach me until after 10 o'clock in the morning after I've gone through everything that I need to do. So that there's no laying in bed, scrolling, seeing all the bad news, all of that. No, I don't know. I, 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 you can't do that because if yeah. you do that, then now you're not really protecting who you are. Yes. Right? Um, and yeah. whose you are. And you are allowing the devil, the enemy, whatever you want to call it, um, bad mojo to come in. You can't. Absolutely. That's right. You can't let them infiltrate. So you have to like keep that out and keep your brain right. So, you know, at this time, should you be? Yes. So even um, the one thing that you can do right this second is go look at your list and start communicating with them effectively. Oh, I don't have it here. But one of one of my friends uh, that I hadn't talked to in probably almost a year sent me a handwritten note and said, hey, Rochelle, I'm just thinking about you. I hope that everything's great during this pandemic. Um, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Now he could have said that on Facebook. Everything. Yeah. Like we're, you know, he's got my email, he's got my cell phone, he could have texted me, but he 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 sat there and wrote it. Mm -hmm. So that now I can I have that. So now am I I'm thinking about him, right? I'm thinking mm -hmm. about who can I send to him. I'm thinking about how we can strengthen our relationship and how we can work together more. It's those things that you should have been doing anyway, right? But you have a tendency not to do when you get busy, when times are good, because you think it's you. Yeah. You think that, you know, that you can magically turn on and off this money and you can't. You have to, I think, put these nine steps together that, that I talk about in a million dollar equation. You know, you need to have your follow up. You need to have, you know, the three R's, the retention, the reactivation and the referral systems together. Like what what are you doing with those? Um, you can't just do one thing. You need to have the 85 ways, which is, you know, chapter 10. You know, people buy the book just for the 85 ways. And I go. That's like the last thing you need to focus on. <laughs> right. Right. Like that's yeah. why it's like chapter 10. Like, mm -hmm. like you need to, to perfect one to make sure that your messaging is correct. So then you can leverage other platforms and yes. other types of media. And, you know, in the end, realize that there's only three ways to grow your business. Three, 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 three. One is get a brand new customer. Two is get your existing customer to come back more often. So that is making sure that there's something else for them to buy and another reason for them to buy, which is why I like continuity. Um, and then the last one is to expand every transaction so that, you know, when you go to the grocery store, where's the milk? Right? So I asked a restaurant as my client restaurant the other day, uh, where's the milk? And he was like, where's the milk? I said in the grocery store, where's the milk? And he's like, well, it's in the grocery store. I go, no, where is it? And like, I'm like, you're a restaurant. Like, you know exactly where the milk is. But, but you, you know, you get so caught up in trying to solve this problem and thinking that you know everything that, that when I ask that question, like you're trying to think, oh, you know, what, what, what? I said, where's the milk? Just tell me where the milk is. Right. He's like, I'm the back of the restaurant. I go, exactly. You know why? Because the, the, not the restaurant, it's in the back of the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Why? Because. The folks at the grocery store want you to walk all the way through and go to the back of the grocery store because milk expires. So they want you to go all the way out back there so that as you're walking back, you go, ooh, there's the chips. I think I want some ice cream. Ooh, that steak sounds good. Is it time for Tuesday? And now your hands are full. Right. <clears throat> so that you're not just here for the one thing. Yeah. You end up buying all these other things. Um, and then they double down when you get to the register, right? right. And then they're like, okay, here's some Visine. Yep. Here's your Snicker bar. Here's Pure, a Mac. Here's a Pirel, <laughs> right? right. Here's a Pirel, everything. Everything. To just get you to buy one more thing. And so if you take just that philosophy and look at your business and start thinking about how can I expand every transaction? So that when they're there, you know, making sure that you can solve the customer's problem, which is step yeah. number one, right? right. What, was, what was the second step again? I'm sorry. Ah, the second one, the three ways to grow. The second one is having them come back more often. Yes. 
figuring out a way that they're going to come back more often. So like my, my accountant only did taxes for years and I'm like, you got to figure out another way or else you're going to be stuck. Right. So we went in to his customer base and we went to everybody who owned a business and he offered bookkeeping services. Triple his income. Yeah. Smart. Right. I, you know, and they, and they seem so, you know, when you're looking at other businesses, Oh, that, you yeah, know, but that'll never work for me. Well, that's how you should be thinking now. Like here's three ways you should only be looking at those three things. How can we get them to come back more often? Like mm -hmm. when is the next time that they should be buying from you? An alarm should go off. I normally do Beyonce now and you know, but whew, <laughs> you know, kind of but ring the alarm. You should, you should have an alarm bell that okay. tells you, that, you know, the, the customer, it's time for them to come back. It's time yeah. for them to buy something again, right? Like, what are they doing? Like, where are they? And and even, you know, um, I, I, I'm like, so are you talking to your customer? You know, everybody just wants to create this this product and and hand it out. Well, that's that doesn't solve their problem. Yeah, you, know, you have to like figure out where they are. So even now, um, yes, I will allow you to come and schedule an appointment and talk one on one with me. Because I, I'm not just going to let you just go to my landing page and pick to decide if that's going to work for you. I need to know, you know, yeah. tell me where you're at. Because if you haven't done these five things, then this ain't going to work for you. It's and I don't need you saying, I tried Michelle's stuff and it didn't work. Well, it, I don't need you out there doing that. You know, yeah. I mean, that, that that's not the, that's not the thing. So um, with all that being said, I you know, figuring, figuring this thing out, making sure that you're communicating more often um, and not just in regular stuff, you know, on my desk sits all the time, these stamps all the time for the same reason. So that I can jot down a little note so that I can say, Hey, thinking about you, that stuff is, you know, it, it, you can go to the dollar tree. It's a dollar for 10 cards. And it's so, it's so powerful. It's so impactful when you do that. And I, and I learned mm -hmm. that from you again, the significance of doing that. And one of the things that we've been doing uh, is reaching out, uh, not necessarily handwritten, which we're going to incorporate, uh, need to do that, but text messages and also personal video messages. Just saying, hey, you know, to clients, our Saphir, you know, folks mm -hmm. that we've done business with, work with, want to work with. Hey guys, this is Low. Mm -hmm. Just want to check in with you. Hope all is well. Blah blah blah. You know, mm -hmm. let me know if you need anything. God bless. And we've gotten people to say, "Man, thanks." And you're right. It it puts you on their mind because it does that for me when somebody does mm -hmm. that for me. That little extra personal touch. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, well, it's it's creating and establishing a relationship. Yes. If you tell somebody without a relationship, you have done a disservice. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you haven't, like, you don't really know what they need. Right? Mm -hmm. So even, for example, you know, um, that's what I was also telling a, cl a client yesterday is she was trying to go straight in and sell. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you forget. Like, you need to, number one, establish a relationship. Mm -hmm. Number two, you need to nurture a relationship, right? So then you could create this reciprocity. Like, that's why I give. I give because I know that it's going to come back. But if you start, you know, with, uh, well, well, this is how much I charge and I'm not being this and that, this is just it. And, you know, like, like my favorite thing, like, uh, that I laugh about when I see online is that when folks post on social media, um, like you're asking to, every time you ask, you want to pick my brain, you're really picking my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's a really big thing. Like they share yeah. that like they're tomorrow and yep. tell folks, yeah, girl, you know, and high five and uh. -huh. I'm like, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot. Yeah. You know, first of all, I understand my value and I understand my worth. Right. Second of all, I understand how to ask people for money. Okay. And number three is I know my boundary, so I'm not gonna let anybody pick my pocket. Like for real? Right. No, no, no. You know, but the time is if you want. And yeah, schedule an appointment. Let's let's go. Tell me what you want to ask you five, six, seven, eight questions before we even get on, you know, so that I can see where your head is. And then that's the best opportunity. If they're if they value what you have, 
then they'll pay. That's and right. if you can't spend 15 minutes to figure that out, then I blame you. Yeah. Then I blame you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't blame them. Like, what, what are you talking about? And that, at, as this gets more and more and more business as we know it, you're not going to be able to text somebody and send them the link. To, to, that's not going to happen. Right. <clears throat> because money's going to be tight. Yep. And when money's tight, those things don't happen. So, so one of the things that, that always, 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 always happens, because like I said, I've been through this now, you know, Y2K, um, 9-11, uh, 2008, and now this one, right? So four times, uh, is that when you have that upswing, when things are really, really good, it's really hard to do what we do, right? Because the, the entrepreneurs who are, who are not committed, who are less than, think that they've done something. Mm-hmm. Like they're impressed by themselves. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Like they're like, well, look what I've already done. Mm-hmm. You go, okay. Yeah. So I just sit back. And then they go, well, oh, you know, we need to reopen. <laughs> okay. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get off of that. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, I am an equal opportunity offender, just so you know. Yeah, right. Um, you good. It. You good. But it's just let's, let's just make sure that we're reopening because our country needs to reopen. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm asking you to. Do. Yep. You know, um, yep. y'all can go on out there. I'm gonna be right here. Right here. I'm watching all of it. See, because I, I, you know, once right. again. You know, I understand how to entertain myself. I understand how to, you know, I know how to order takeout. Um, okay. I also love my home. <laughs> you know, so and I got hurt. everything I need. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I, I really yeah. don't. But you know, I, I know that I'm different and I know that I'm kind of special. And like <laughs> some things aren't really, aren't really. You're not alone. You're not alone. Yeah. 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 I just embrace that. So. Um, it, it is and will be what it is. And that that's the first step of even the self-care of saying what it really is. You know, get all your expenses down so that you're very clear. Yes. So, so here's my, my favorite tip to do right now. When okay. Money's tight. OK, here's the number one. And if you tell people I told it, I'll lie and I'll say I didn't say that. <laughs> but somebody else we know, even though it's on video. <laughs> it's call your bank and say you lost your debit card. So all those automatic payments. Yep. It stops them. It stops. That's true. It stops them. And then you can make a decision. Do I need this? Because That's they'll right. email you, hey, you need to fix it. You know, because we forget all of those. But exactly. We forget all yep. of those tens, those fifteens, those two mm-hmm. hundreds, those twenty-fives, those, you know, we when we count like how much we need, we count our house or car. Mm-hmm. We don't count. All those automatic, especially us internet marketers, right? That's we don't right. count those ten dollars and those fifteens and those twenty, those that we haven't even looked at in ten years. That's right. right? But we just hold on to. So mm-hmm. yeah, just stop it. Just have it. Just you know, have them send you a new one. Right. Mm-hmm. First, go get like you know two hundred dollars, whatever you need, and then have them send you a new one. So everybody, that's the tip that you guys need to do. All right, go mm-hmm. ahead. You, you didn't hear mm-hmm. it from me. You heard it, but you heard it on my show. So, you know, you heard it, I guess right? So, right? <laughs> but just, you just stop it so that everything stops. That's right. Because I know that when that happens, you know what? I I, I get to readjust my life. And I That's go, right. oh, That's okay, right. yeah, I have that. Like, I've been paying for that. How long have I been paying for that? Exactly. Right? Like, you really get to look at, like, do I need this? Do I not need it? What What's my next step? And then, as Oprah has always said, and how I learned from her, it's like, do the next best right step. Yes. You know, not not plan it out 10 years. Do the next best right step for you in this moment. Right. But now, don't make a lifetime decision based on what's going on right here. Like, you know, like, don't walk away from your house because you missed a payment. Right. Like, you know, call low first and let us buy it. Okay. There you go. But did you, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. Don't do that. But but look at, you know, if you've if you missed two before and you were already on the edge, then mm-hmm. maybe it's time to adjust that. Right? Absolutely. If you if you're if you're 
credit is not where you want it to be because you're overspending, then adjust some of those things yes. and make the decisions to do it. Because there's nothing more powerful than a change mind. Yeah, you know, make the nothing more powerful than a change of mind. And I, that that right there is is where we're going to leave it. Because um, you have to have a change mind uh, while you're going through this and to come out better. So, Rochelle, I, I, I may make this a part two type of interview. Anyway, I'll, 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 I'll we'll see what's going on. Because this this is it's it's been it's been great to to have you to come and share, uh, guys. Go back and listen to this. Um, share it. Share it with someone else that you know needs to hear this, especially an entrepreneur. Um, Rochelle, I appreciate you. I have your website there for people that want to maybe get more information about you and reach out to you. Is, is, is there anything else that you want to share or maybe another way they can anybody can contact you? No, I mean, you can, I, if you Google me, there's, you know, there's a thousand, there's a thousand ways, you know, I, 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 I know that that's kind of, mm. but I'm like, look, if, if you, if this is what you want, then you'll find me. Right. And I'm not, I'm not a pusher. I only uh, like to work with winners. So if you're not a winner, um, don't then, call them. You know, please, y'all don't. Please don't waste the time. Uh, let me say that. Don't waste the time. No, She's real deal. No, and I don't even mean, mean like financially, right? Like right. you know, if you know inside that you're a winner, yes. then let's chat, right? Yes. But if you're not a winner, like if you you know have a tendency to to start a whole bunch of stuff and don't finish a whole bunch of stuff, then I'm not the person that's because right. if you walk. And I have to walk. That's that's sad. I'd much rather run. So, you know, I like to do it very quickly and get you to where you want to be very, very quickly. I mean, even, you know, I, I talk about how, you know, you literally from day one to six weeks, you were already doing an event that generated five figures. You know, it's like, well, what? You know what I mean? In six yep. weeks time, you know, and, and it wasn't like a, like a 10, you know, two years, whatever. It's like, it's, you can have whatever exactly you want to work for. You can have it, but you have to put in the work. You, you have, have to, to yeah. put in what it is. So um, that'll be fun. So, awesome. you know, thank you so much. Um, it's been an honor. Uh, you just let me come on and just do my thing and just keep talking and, and just. Yep. That's <laughs> what I want. Work. <laughs> and I know my listeners. I know I know my listeners because from the first uh, interview, I, I I got a lot of feedback. So I know I'm gonna get some feedback from this one, some good feedback from this one. But it's necessary yeah. information. You know, it's information that you hear from a winner, uh, from someone who's awesome, someone who's uh, has the experience and the passion to help other business owner and has done so, including myself. I am a witness, and I'm not talking about something that I've heard about Sister Rochelle Shaw, but what I know for a fact, and I appreciate you. You know, I love you. Please tell your daughter I said hello. Yay, should be happy you here. And Carla, I missed her on this one. Are you kidding me? Um, so, but I, but I love watching y'all online, love watching your videos. I'm just so proud. Like I'm, I'm like a proud parent, you know, it's like, really? But um, I'm just so proud of all your success. Just keep crushing it. I'll do keep it. Crushing. Thank all you right? so much. Love you. Yeah. Love you for free.